a real-life mobster who says he was a private enforcer for legendary crime boss John Gotti. The descriptions of them read like something right out of a Godfather movie. Now from behind bars, gymnast Joe Pasalacqua tells Crime Watch Daily it was no movie, it was real, and he says he's got the proof. In you know, my life, I've done things that you only read about in books. The man who became known as Steroid Joe wasn't always this yoked up. David Kushner, the journalist who uncovered this good guy gone wise guy story, says Joe Pasalacqua was once a regular Long Island boy who dreamed of competing in the world of gymnastics. He was, by all accounts, kind of a skinny kid growing up, um, maybe a little bit bullied at times. And this was a way for him to uh, kind of transform himself. He opens a successful gym called Flip Over Gymnastics, but he's still hungry for something even bigger. He started seeing guys coming into the gym who, as he put it, looked like King Kong and he wanted to know what were they doing. What they were doing was steroids. And for Joe, it became a habit that spins dangerously out of control. He felt that it really made him into a, what he said was a violent animal. Joe's steroid-fueled rage gets the attention of unsavory elements outside the gym. Joe claims a shady acquaintance of his said there was someone he should meet. Joe says that this restaurateur then took him to Little Italy, and they went to a small social club where he was led into a room, and there, sitting behind a desk, was John Gotti. That's right, the John Gotti, the notorious crime boss who fought his way to the top of the Gambino crime family through ruthless tactics and cold-blooded murder. But Joe wasn't intimidated by Gotti. In fact, Kushner says, Joe fit right into the brutal mob lifestyle and was even given the nickname Angel. He says that he was essentially an enforcer for Gotti, so collecting money from people who weren't paying through whatever means he had to resort to. From lockup in Cumberland Federal Prison, Joe tells Crime Watch Daily he was one of the most ruthless enforcers the mob has ever seen. I've probably participated in over 500 crimes. I've been attacked by bats, people with handguns, knives, shotguns. I was good at hurting people. Sound like an overactive imagination? Perhaps. But Blair Gartinier says he saw Joe's top mob connection with his own eyes. It's at this diner in East Brunswick, New Jersey. Joe and I were sitting down to lunch, and all of a sudden I hear some guy say, Angel, come here. And Joe said, excuse me, I got to go. And he got up and he walked out. And he came back in about 10 minutes later to the diner. Did you see the man who said, Angel, yes. come here? Who was it? John Gotti. If something didn't go his way, Dad would make it go his way. Joe Pasolacqua's son, Joey, says his family lived a quiet life in East Brunswick, New Jersey. But the beloved gym coach and father also had a dark side. When we were kids, he had tremendous road rage. He was always in court because he was beating people up on the side of the road. Then there were the names Joe dropped, ones little Joey didn't recognize until later. The names Gotti and Gambino mentioned, and then you watch TV and other things, and you kind of understand who those people are. But there are those in the know who say Joe Pasolacqua is a made-up mobster. He's a complete unknown. George Gabriel is a retired agent for the FBI, formerly assigned to investigate the very mob boss Joe claims he worked for, John Gotti. By the time we brought him to trial, we pretty much knew everybody in the family and most of their key associates. Did you guys ever come across someone called Angel or Joe Hummer? No. But Joe claims he's got proof, documents from the Department of Justice that show the feds considered him a made man. Can you read that for me? It says, believed to be Gambino or Genovese family member. Well, what do you make of that, Agent Gabriel? I mean, there it is in black and white from the DOJ. Doesn't this prove his association with the family? No. No? Tell me why. Uh, well, this is a typical um, FBI form. They're basically saying, hey, we think he might be associated with the Gambino family. What can you guys tell us? And the fact that nothing else follows this tells me that there was never anything there. They have no idea what they're talking about. It's not a fantasy. 
If I said he killed people, would you believe that? Yes. But even if his actual mob ties are all in his imagination, his criminal rap sheet isn't. Now behind bars, Angel the Enforcer goes by the nickname Pastor Joe. I'm a totally different person now. Um, and now I shy away from the violence because it doesn't lead anywhere. But the question still remains, did Joe really ever wear the badge of dishonor as the mob's most merciless enforcer? Joe just doesn't flinch when he tells these stories. He's either just an incredibly accomplished liar or there's some truth to what he's saying. 